Wait, you only do YouTube. It's your boy Sharon Speed. You know, I want to talk to you guys about The Flash, Season 3, Episode 9, mid-season finale, called The President. Man, did we get a lot of gifts tonight in tonight's episode. First up, I want to say, we finally see John Wesley Ship return as Henry Allen's doppelganger. And we are, man, we all know and love motherfucking Jay Garrick. What a bro. <laughs> you know, and he tells Barry how to get rid of alchemy. How to, first of all, first off, yes, how to defeat Savitar. And possibly Alchemy as well. You know, I actually walked in on the episode of The Flash 15 minutes before, about 20 minutes before it went off. So I didn't miss the beginning. I didn't miss a lot of it. But from what I could tell from the from the last of it, I can pretty much patch all the way. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I apologize. That I have to improvise for you guys. But here it is. But yeah, you know, we see when I came in, I saw Julian, you know, have a fucking e e e g, you know, nodes on his head, you know, and he's talking like Alchemy. You know, just to figure out, you know, what's his plan and all together, you know, everything like that. You see Jay Garrett walk in and telling Barry how to get rid of Alchemy and the Philosopher's Stone. Isn't that some Harry Potter type shit? You know, it turns out this is what Jay Garrett prophesized and the solution to how to get rid of the Philosopher's Stone. We, How about this? We combine our speeds together, you know, in the uh, speed tunnel, and we throw the stone in the middle, in the midst of the speed force. Because that's all, if you, if you all recall... The speed force is nothing but infinite time, a time loop. You can never find it again. But the thing is, when Barry did that, as soon as he went right through that breach, Barry goes into the future, which I thought he went back in the past. I'm like, oh, shit, he went back? No, he turns out he goes into the future five months from now. Five months from now. And, you know, and unfortunately, you hear him, you hear future Barry telling him, please, you know, begging this avatar not to kill Iris West, you know, she he has her bound up, you know, pretty much has that damn spider and getting ready to drive that shit through her heart. And he's back and he's begging Savitar with all his might and life not to kill Iris. You know, and unfortunately Barry he he says, you know, and Iris says, you know, I love you, Barry. He said, Hey, he's a hey, hey. Don't talk like that, okay? Don't talk like that. You know, and we all know from Barry's Barry's previous deaths, he hates when people say, Hey, I love you, man. As their parting words, you know, you think that he can still, you know, he's that optimistic, he's the hopeless optimist, that's what I like to call it, you know, a mixture of hopes, romantics, and optimism, you know. And so, Barry's like that, and I'm the same way, honestly. And so, you know, he's trying to, you know, trying to reassure Iris that he's going to save her. And Mist is right before he gets ready to stab her all the way through. He tries to run his way into there, he says, No, no, and too late, you know, he stabs her. He catches her and he tells her to hold on, but it's too late. To which we see Jay come back and, and pull him back through the breach into present time. To which Jay talks to John and says, you know what, man? Listen, Barry, you weren't supposed to see that. And, you know, Barry's talking already, telling me, you know, how can I, how, or, well, how, how can I prevent this? How can I make this stop from happening? You know, how, what if I run back? And you see, and, and, you know, Jay, I'm so glad he stopped him right there. You know, because I got tired of seeing Barry go back into shit, do shit, fuck shit up. Because he's in his damn feelings. And so, Jay, Jay pretty much tells him, you know what, man, listen. It doesn't matter if you go back. And that's, your life is based, focus on the here and now. Because, listen, the future is not written yet. Alright? You know, there's infinite possibilities, just like there's infinite Earths within our universe. Again, there's, again, there's infinite possibilities, infinite Earths. You know, he has to say, you know, just focus on the here and now. You know, you going back is not going to make anything better. Pretty much, you know, and, and he's right. It, it's not, you know, Barry. You know, I'm glad he had to learn that going back in time is was not is not always the answer, and for the most part, it never goes out in his favor, as we all know. But you know, you can tell when when they had when the Wests had that Christmas party after HR, you know, it's prompted and saying, you know, man, it's Christmas time, and you know, you need to celebrate. We all need to be together. And he's right, you know, and then. Seeing that, you know, it really lightened the mood up a little bit. You know, we even had a little killer frost up in there, you know what I'm saying? Make it a little snowy instead of rain for the carolers. You know, doing enjoy the world and shit. And, uh, you know, we also learned, you know, I also learned, yeah, we learned, and I also learned myself that, you know, again, you know, the fact that the holiday season, you know, Cisco is missing his, his brother Dante. You know, as we all know, people that we've that we loved and we lost throughout the years, you know, it's tough without that one person, you know, because we each bring something you need to the element into life, you know, and it's tough without that one person, you know, and, you know, and Cisco thanks Caitlin for talking him off that ledge because he wanted to jump, 
you know, which is understandable, man. You know, you miss me really, you know, you're close. You know, you, even if you're not really as close, you're still going to be, you know, hit with, you know, the, with the brunt end of the stick, you know, when they die. You know, and so that's a, that was a really cool moment. Also, you know, Wally tells HR, hey, tells Barry, hey, I'm, I'm training with HR, which I'm sure wasn't that much of an exciting thing at first. And um, we also learned that, hey, you know, you know, when they're exchanging gifts, you know what I'm saying? Before Kid Flash got his shit, man, he got his suit. Now he's in the team, boy. He's in the team. He's on Team Flash, man. And congratulations to Wally, man. You deserve it, bro. All that wonderful ass training. You know, then we also see, you know, Cecile, you know, uh, Joe's girlfriend, you know, that fine ass girlfriend of his, you know. They were comparing their grand their grandmother's uh, egg, famous eggnogs, you know. And it turns out, you know, they were probably both back at alcohol because they both the eggnog is strong as fuck. You know, I wonder like, what her damn um, Cecile's daughter's like. You know what I'm saying? Because she had to stop that. You know what I mean? You know, Julian comes through because he didn't, you know, he felt like being, you know, alone on Christmas is going to be a feel really lonely. So he came by the West to get a look on him. And he also gave Barry Allen his own little gift. His resignation papers are now revoked. He is now going to become a CSI again. So big ups to him as well. You know, and, uh, it was really cool, you know, to really see that, you know. And then also, you know, you know, Kid Flash has his outfit. Barry the CSI again. And then also, Barry has a little gift for, you know, Iris. You know, while he's still lingering about the thought of seeing the woman he loves being killed. You know, you say, all right, keep your eyes closed. Bow, baby, guess what? Your man got you a house. Our house. You know what I'm saying? When I got both of our names up on the lease. This is ours. I said, he said, you know, sleeping on. Just because cows was too much and sleeping in your place is a little bit too small. You know, and they kiss and you say, you know, because I want to wake up to you every day and every night and they have a wonderful ass kiss. And for those of you that don't know, The Flash airs back again on January 24th on Tuesdays at 8. Damn. But you know what? I love this season, man. This mid-season, man. It was been fucking wonderful, man. I look forward to seeing the arrows. It's the mid-season tomorrow as well. And I'm also trying to figure out where the hell Supergirl's mid-season was because I did not see it on that night last night so i'll be looking for that and i will be doing my review on that as well i'm sorry i got a little late and so yeah this is butcher season man you know happy holidays to everybody else man you know bless up man you know be together with your family have a great time uh and have a new year man i love y'all man thank you for all the subscribers thank you for all the people that view my channel and everything like that you guys really don't understand how much that means to me i deeply appreciate that man y'all are the greatest one love